morning of day four and just got up, just got our tea um, and it's a pretty impressive view. trail up here and it's quite hard to have a drink because every sip that you take you're trying to catch your breath again. Um, we're well above 4,000 metres now. Um, the headache's gone thanks to ibuprofen. So about no problem. 4,035 on the altimeter. So we could have sort of another 600 metres to go to Lava Tower and then down to Branco Camp. and 600 meters and it's really really tough Today, um, no signs of altitude sickness at all. It's 
slept really well. We're going to do an acclimatisation walk um, in an hour or so. Anyway, let me show you the tents. So that's camp. And that's what angle the tents are at. <laughs> that's my tent there. One last little thing, guys. Tomorrow night is summit night. <laughs> Morning, we're at Karanga Camp. We've just woke up and had our breakfast. Um, terrible night's sleep, as <laughs> predicted, because those tents were all on a massive slope, so we're just sliding down to the bottom of the tents all night. Um, had a bit of a headache this morning, so I've had some paracetamols, but I think that was probably due to a terrible night's sleep rather than altitude. Um, we're on our way up to Barafu Camp now, which is our last camp before summit night. Summit night is tonight. <laughs> um, so we get on our way up to 4,600 metres, so wish us luck. Brian, Karanga Camp, how did you sleep? Good morning, Victoria. <laughs> good morning. I had a good night's sleep. Did I you? On a slope? <laughs> yes, I put my mattress against the wall of the tent so that I couldn't move. <laughs> and then I slept with my back against the wall of the tent. I, I should have done warm, that. <laughs> a warm sleep, Lovely. a good sleep. Brilliant. And the good Lord blessed me with a sleeping gene. <laughs> Are you looking forward to tonight? I am, with some trepidation. But yes, it is exciting to think we're just 24 hours away from our goal. <laughs> I thought I'd escape the nosebleeds, but I was bending over in my tent this morning, just packing things up, and my nose just went and <laughs> blood everywhere. So oh. <laughs> it's just an altitude thing. It's just because I haven't suffered very much at all. I had a slight heady feeling a couple of days ago, but that passed. Um, and I had a little bit of an upset tummy, but whether that was due to altitude sickness or something else, I honestly don't know. But aside from that, I've been okay. I don't want to tempt fortune, but that <laughs> to know, I haven't had any. Brilliant. So that's going to be a very short interview. I, I, I had a slight nosebleed on day two very slight one okay. and I had, I've had headaches but I don't think it's the altitude, I think it's more the rocks. Okay. Oh, well, I've been fine, thank you. Um, it was really weird, I was running around in circles uh, singing Bar Bar Black Shirt to myself. <laughs> uh, I put that down to attitude sickness but uh, apart from that I had a headache yesterday and today I've been feeling okay. Just a bit of a headache, um, yeah they're fine. Touch, touch wood, is that wood? No. <laughs> <laughs> I had a slight headache yesterday. But other than that, nothing so far. Started to die much yesterday. Okay. Getting a few side effects like tingly feet, tingly fingers. I've been totally fine. And day three, I had a bit of a headache. I took Diamox and it's cleared up. Apart from that, it's been okay. It was pretty tough carrying the card, what the hell? And <laughs> <laughs> keeping it warm at night time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. How do you do that? I've been really lucky too. I had a, a stonking, horrible headache yesterday, but one roofing and that was okay. Um, been taking Diamox since fairly early on, and I think I've been peeing for Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> As a result, thanks very much. Where do I start? Um, I have a chronic fatigue, but that might be down to some other um, things that I've been afflicted with. Um, I had a blinding headache this morning and this afternoon and dizziness, um, loss of appetite, and I've been taking Diamox, which has really given me some tingly fingers. Um, okay. Apart from that, um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> altitude, altitude sickness is not really affecting me.